Hi there, good morning. Here are the latest news stories and headlines in South Africa on Thursday, February 3, 2022. Now let's take a good look at the top five stories that have made headlines for today. Here's why the Western Cape has issued a diarrhea warning. For Western Cape February isn't just a Valentine month, it have some bad news as well, as the very hot conditions in the Western Cape have led to a noticeable increase in cases of diarrhea, dehydration, and pneumonia in children. It is most probably the first warning of its kind in South Africa. Western Cape Government Health spokesperson Sandra Merritt said while the extremely hot weather can be intolerable, it is young children who often bear the brunt of it. The very hot conditions experienced in many parts of the Western Cape have led to a noticeable increase in the number of children brought to Western Cape Health facilities with symptoms like diarrhea, dehydration, and pneumonia. Merritt said they usually see a spike in children treated for diarrheal disease from November to March. As we enter February, usually the hottest month, the department is advising adults to be extra watchful over children. When your child has a runny tummy, he, she may have diarrhea. Dozens of kids rushed to KZN Hospital after eating a toxic batch of lollipops. We do know that kids do love sweets, right? Then we should tell kids to be careful when buying them. The Department of Basic Education in KwaZulu-Natal has confirmed that at least 46 children, and possibly as many as 85, had to receive emergency medical treatment this week after they consumed an illness-inducing batch of lollipops. The primary school learners are believed to have purchased the toxic stock of confectionery on their way to school. Dozens of those affected complained about severe stomach cramps, whereas others were vomiting. It's understood the lollipops came from one vendor, and she is someone who has operated near the school for a while. However, the sweet produce gave these pupils very little to smile about. Watch out for kids, not every vendor is as careful and safe as we wish them to be when it comes to kid safety. Shivambo trolled for questioning Zondo's JSC interview. EFF Deputy President Floyd Shivambo is being taken to task by some Twitter users after complaining about Acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo being interviewed last by the Judicial Services Commission, JSC, for the Chief Justice post. It's no secret that Shivambo and other EFF leaders, including Julius Malima, are no fans of Zondo, having accused him of pursuing a political agenda. Zondo is one of four people who are vying to become the Chief Justice at the Constitutional Court. The post was left vacant after former Chief Justice Mogoi Mogoi retired in October 2021. The Judicial Services Commission, JSC, is conducting interviews for the coveted seat until Friday, February 4, 2022, after which President Cyril Ramaphosa will announce his pick. Two paramedics shot at in KZN and rushed to ICU. We can agree that paramedics are supposed to be called for help or respond to an emergency health situations and they're not supposed to be shot at, but that wasn't the case for one young man in KwaZulu-Natal. KwaZulu-Natal Health Mech, Namagugu Simlane, has called for the immediate arrest and prosecution of a young man who fled after shooting two paramedics during an attempted robbery at Kwamashu Community Health Center, CHC, in the early hours this morning. KZN Health spokesperson, Dikoso Mafiza said it is alleged that the gunman gained access into the emergency medical services base, situated inside Kwamoshu CHC, by scaling a 1.8M perimeter fence, at about 02H30. When he confronted a paramedic and demanded a cell phone, the man resisted. A scuffle ensued and a 55-year-old paramedic was shot in the abdomen. After hearing the gunshot, other paramedics and security officials rushed out and got engaged in another tussle with the gunman, who fired another shot, hitting the second paramedic, aged 58, in the chest. PROSA audit exposes 3,000 ghost employees and fake nationalities. This might sound awkward if you are looking for a job without any lucky anywhere in South Africa. From train collisions and their vandalization, stolen infrastructure and now ghost employees, it seems the embattled passenger rail agency of South Africa, PROSA, will never end. PROSA has revealed that since 2020 it may have been paying 3,000 ghost employees registered as permanent on its system. The entity's new board held a media briefing on Tuesday to announce its plans to root out corruption. During the briefing, board chairperson, Leonard Ramatlikane said there are employees who have been getting salaries that they cannot account for and where they are. This was revealed by Operation Zivis where employees were required to produce their qualifications and come with their supervisors in order to be paid their salaries. Let's hope this gets sorted and ghost employees are vanished and actual human are employed, amen. 
This is Leah for the South African.